It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, June 23rd. I'm James Spann. More hot summer weather. Isolated storms through midweek, but heat relief, and I mean some pretty significant relief coming up late this week and over the weekend, so that's a good thing. Check it out this morning. Heat ridge across the southern U.S. And hey, this is summer. This is what you expect. Higher heights a little west of the state, but everybody will be hot today, and everybody was hot yesterday. Birmingham's official high was 97. Huntsville did 98. We'll expect numbers like that uh, today, tomorrow, and it's Thursday is still going to be pretty hot as well, but Friday will be a different kind of day. Starting off the day in the 70s, Birmingham at 75. And, you know, I so that these heat advisories... I'm not really a big fan of trying to divvy up the state like that. The counties in Orange down here, those are counties under heat advisories. And I don't think if you drive from Bibb County to Shelby County, you'll notice any difference. Bibb County's in a heat advisory. Shelby County is not. And the same thing for Tuscaloosa and Jefferson. You know, you're in Tuscaloosa County. you got a heat advisory. Jefferson County's not. Everybody's going to be hot today. Uh, in terms of organized severe weather, an enhanced risk from near Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, almost up to Boston. We do note a marginal risk for extreme North Alabama in the southern quarter of the state. And any storm on a summer, on a hot summer day can pack a punch. A lot of lightning, you know, potential for a wet microburst, especially as those things collapse. We had a couple of uh, spots of wind damage yesterday in the state, and we'll see the same type thing today, but they'll be very isolated. Same thing tomorrow, a marginal risk to the north of here over the far northeastern corner of the state and uh, day three which is thursday severe weather risks to the north rain for the next five days found it through sunday morning hey numbers are coming up average amounts about one inch and no doubt we'll see an increase in rain activity on friday and saturday and the tropics are nice and quiet a lot of dry air out across the atlantic basin all right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock. You can see that 594 heat ridge across the deep south. And down below that, storms isolated today. The better coverage will be north of us. But there'll be some out there. And again, highs uh, mid, maybe upper 90s in spots, much like yesterday. This is the high-res HRRR, valid at 6 o'clock. And we're not saying the radar is going to look exactly like that, but the storms will be pretty isolated. If you get under one, uh, it'll get nice and cool for a brief time, but most of you will not. Really the same thing tomorrow. Hot, muggy, mid-90s, maybe upper 90s in spots. A storm or two in isolated locations. And really Thursday, don't know if the weather changes too much. Uh, the GFS is still printing 96 on Thursday. Beginning to think we're not going to see much relief at that point. Maybe a little better chance of an afternoon storm. But this is when things start to change on Friday. The ridge pumps up in the west. The trough digs in the east. And accordingly, we should see a nice increase in the number of showers and storms. And the heat levels will be noticeably lower. In fact, many spots will not get out of the 80s on Friday. That sounds pretty good. The GFS is printing a high of 89. And how about Saturday? A surface low is northeast, northeast of the state, a cold front dropping south, and a big upper trough in place. Looks like a mostly cloudy day. A few passing showers and storms are likely. It's not going to rain the whole day, but got something planned outside. Rain delays are a good possibility. And the GFS is printing a high of only 82. And I could easily see some spots only in the 70s on Saturday. Wow. And then Sunday, look at that. The cold front pushes down to near U.S. 80. And if that's the case, the northern half of the state will be dry with lower humidity values on Sunday. And again, the high only in the middle 80s. With showers and storms confined to the southern half of the state. And I really think that's going to be the case because look at the upper pattern here. This is Monday. Big old 594 heat bubble in the west, a nice cool trough in the east. And by golly, we are in dry continental air. Monday should be a beautiful day. Sunny, we start the day down around 60. We'll see some upper 50s in the cooler pockets early Monday morning. Dare I say, a preview of fall. And then uh, the high Monday, mid to upper 80s, just very nice. And Tuesday, moisture comes back. We all know dry intrusions don't last long, so we'll bring back the chance of scattered showers and storms. And again, highs only in the 80s. Here's the end of the forecast, and we're still in a trough over the east. This is July 2nd, uh, toward the end of next week. 
And again, uh, maybe some chance of scattered showers and storms. And look at the numbers coming down after the hot days through midweek. Highs dropping back in the 80s. Sounds pretty good. And nice to see those nice shades of blue over the central U.S. there in the uh, anomaly graphic for uh, late June and early July. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.